excited? Very excited. Um, you know, it was a big stage. It was my first individual medal, um, especially at World Championships. Very excited. You know, I came out and I executed my race. I stayed humble. I stayed hungry. I listened to my coach before my race, and I went out there and I executed just like he, he told me to, and it worked out great for me. What about um, oh, I forgot the name? Sorry. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Well, Karani, Karani, you know, it wasn't his day today, but at the same time, you know, he just had to go back and bounce back and get back in the lab and reflect on what went wrong. And I'm pretty sure he had bounced back. You know, I've been racing Karani for a very long time, and you know, as a great athlete, it hurts to see him not at his best. But you know. Um, I hope that he recovers from it, and next time I see him, I hope I get him at his A game. Many what would it say to you and you to him? What would I say to him? Yes. Oh, I say good race. You know, at the end of the day, that's still a friend to me. Um, you know, I talk with him on outside of track and field. We text each other, we call each other on the phone. You know, say I check on each other from here and there. So I know he's going to be a great guy um, outside of this level. So he, he made a real fantastic time. His uh, his own record. What? What? Say that again. I mean, his record. Uh, he made Tony the, the made the a good time. Not the Tony. I'm talking about Merritt. Oh, oh he did the best, best time. Sean. Oh yeah, he tied his PR, I believe, 43.76. 74. 74. Oh, he PR. Oh, yeah. You know, Karani, he's, you know, he's a big American athlete, uh, especially for me growing up. I was watching Karani, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Deshaun, <laughs> since I was in seventh grade. It was the first time I seen him run. So, you know, he's always been a role model for me. And to race him at the big stage, you know, it's just very exciting. You know, I saw, I can't really describe it. You know, you just have to come out here and compete with the best, and he's one of them. What does this say for the U.S. after not having anybody in the finals one year ago no, to now have two medals? We're definitely back, baby. We're definitely back. <laughs> We definitely have to remain, you know, hum hungry and humble, and keep coming out here and keeping the title up for the USA 400 meter men, and definitely getting out and, and finishing the mission in the 4x4, and letting everybody know USA is still number one. Deshaun, uh, you, you can beat him. You can be the first. Yeah, Deshaun came in first. Um, he ran a very excellent race. He executed his race properly. Um, is it possible to beat? It is definitely possible to beat anybody on any given day. Um, you've seen that today. You know, Karani's running another 43 guy, and um, today he wasn't at his A game. So you definitely have to bring it on every stage, no matter what stage. If it's a World Championship, Olympic, um, little meets, big meets, you just have to have to come out and just compete. Talk us through that last hundred. The last Lashawn was way out there. What were we thinking? Lashawn was definitely way out there. Uh, I didn't pay attention to him that much because I couldn't see him, to be honest. Um, you know, I just wanted to come down that home stretch and just strong as possible. And uh, my first goal, you know, was to just stay focused on what I had to do. And Karani was the first victim I seen. And so once I got that door open for me, I just pressed on the gas and I gave it all I got all the way down. And if I was to die, I was going to die at the finish line. So that's what happened for me today. Not full stadium. Is it amazing for you? It's Oh yes, yeah, definitely great. Uh, Russia is a big country. The atmosphere here is just amazing. Um, the crowd was just excellent. You know, the the chant just and their roars is just breathtaking. They take it away from you. It's almost like being on an Olympic stage. So the crowd was definitely everything that we needed today for a great race. Do you know who is Elena Simbaeva? The who? Elena Simbaeva. I do not. Um, she's the Russian pole vaulter. Oh yeah, she did excellent out there. When yeah. I walked out, I seen that. Um, there was that a PR for her? She tried uh, to make the world record, the world record. but. Uh, Uh, but she can't. She can. Uh, so she do uh, the best season one. Uh, the best, the best season record. Oh, that's excellent. I, I, I wasn't able to see what And she did. And she's ending today. She's done for the day. She, she's out. Oh, oh, she was tired. Well, that's the way to go out. She she went out mm -hmm. on a bang, especially in her country. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How old are you these days? I mean, I'm 23. I'm 23. I'll be 24 next year, April 16th. Watching the show when you're in eighth grade, I'm like, sort of doing Yeah, seventh, so seventh grade, I was about, what is that? Uh, 16, 17? How old is he now? Uh, LaShawn is 27. Yeah, so what? He's been fast time to college. Right, he's been, yeah. When I was in middle school, uh, LaShawn was already professional out of college and running on the big stage. So, yeah, I've been, I've been, I've been watching him since I was little. <laughs> Have you ever been in a race this fast? I've, I've been in a race this fast. Um, you know, I've been in a race with both guys. Uh, LaShawn ran 44 flat and Karani ran 43.97. And that was in uh, Paris this year. So I've definitely been in a race that was this fast. Um, the outcome for me today was just amazing. You know, um, I had a PR and I'm very excited. I got it at the World Championships and was able to get a silver medal behind it. Good job. Um.